last one. Harry's going to be doing another exercise trying to get Ella to love touching the post-it note. This is a contact exercise which we've only spent a couple of minutes doing before. And the reason behind this is that one, it shows you how you can train contact with anything. So you could use your hand or use another object and train them to touch and be rewarded for it. The other reason we're using a post-it note is that we're going to attach that post-it note to the door of the cupboard and train Ella to close the door on command. So we're getting really almost consistent, almost 100% consistent touching of the post-it note. So uh, usually we'd practice a little more to get it a completely 100%. But what I'm gonna ask Carrie to do now is to make her hold her nose against it with more force. So touch it with more force and only click and reward the ones where she touches the post-it note with some force. The ones where she's a little bit softer, he's not gonna reward. Like that one, he didn't reward. A paw, we might decide to do that, but for the moment, we've only been selecting the touch with the nose, so we're gonna carry on doing it that way. That looked like a good one. And again, now set the criteria even harder, Harry. So really now only select ones which are an extra 10% or the ones that are in the kind of the top 20% of what we've been getting so far. You'll have these moments where the dog goes, really, what? I can't believe this, I can't believe it. And now she's trying different behaviours to work out. Really, I can't believe I'm getting rewarded for this post-it note thing. They kind of just have like moments of self-awareness where they check and check that we haven't gone loopy. Which of course we have. <laughs> because we're kind of trying to train a dog to touch a post-it note. Oh, harsh, harsh trainer, Harry. That one looked good to me. Too soft. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Again, we're a little bit early for this. I'd try normally and get her only touching it really hard. But now we're going to try putting it in. Firstly, we're going to try different locations. So Harry can now put it in his other hand. The next step is to generalize the location to get her to realize that it's not just a question of the post-it note being in that hand that, that she gets rewarded for touching it, but no matter where the post-it note is. So one of the things you can do is swap hands. The other thing you can do is kind of uh, hold it lower, higher, off to the side, put it between your legs, all that kind of stuff. Well done, Harry. Harry's still rewarding the, the harder touches. So change the location in different ways, move around the room as you before you and then stop still and do it. Okay, so that's it for today. The next video we'll do is once we've done a few more locations and you have to, and then we'll practice putting it against something and uh, getting her to touch it and close the door on command. All right, good luck.